My name is Lisa and this is Freedom Grows. We sold our house about six months ago and have been living the RV life. We've been living in our RV full time at an RV park and this is just temporary until so we place the house on the land that we also recently purchased. Now, we recently got it cleared a couple of months ago and decided that the first structure that would be going on this land would be a shed. My husband and I were in the market for a shed and our neighbor knocked on our door just last week and was selling his shed because he's moving out of here. So we went ahead and purchased his shed and had it moved from this location over to the land. Now on moving day, I decided to take some of the trees that I had brought with us from the previous house over to this RV park that I had been babysitting in small containers. Now these trees shouldn't be in little containers. They should be in ground. These are mulberry trees, figs, things like that. And they were starting to get really stressed out. So I didn't want them to die on me and I didn't want to keep up potting them. So I decided to go ahead and place that first round of trees in ground on the same day that we moved the shed to the land. Now here's a little clip of that. working on the land, cutting all of the weeds and bushes that are around, and I checked on the plants. I want to say this is about four weeks later. They are really happy. Thankfully, they took well. They're green. They're no longer looking sad. These here are the chayas. And I'm so happy to see the mulberries looking lovely and green. That's all they needed was a nice little dose of mother nature. Here's a Mexican sunflower cutting that was given to me by Tropic Air Homestead here in Florida. This katuk was also given to me by Tropic Air Homestead along with the chaya, the cassava, this one here needs a little bit of water, but it's still doing so good. It took well to the transplant. I'm so happy to see all of these looking lovely. This one here is the cassava or the yuca looking absolutely stunning. Here's another mulberry cutting. So we are back at home and finished the first round of trees and plants to start our food forest. And if you're still here, I just want to thank you for being here. 
If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already so that you can catch future content similar to this.